Special greetings to the Open Bible Church in Palosico. Uh, this is Shadrach. I have been a part of the uh, church membership and leadership since 1991 up until 2004 when because of work as well as change of residence I moved to the city of San Fernando. During that period of time 13 of those years were spent on the church board as well as functioning in many other aspects of the life of Palosico. Those years from the 90s into beyond the year 2000 had seen the Palosico Church experience a lot, a lot of individuals coming to the knowledge of the Lord and men and women that will have gone to many places around the world. But there are those that had also remained and stayed there as the benchmark and as well as the backbone of the church that continues to carry the life of Palosico Church. One of those individuals was uh, Sister Judith um, Alexander, the wife of Pastor Kenwin Alexander, who we have found the opportunity to really, really work very closely with during my time at the Palisico Church. I want to pull out just about five uh, memories in honor of this day that the church decided to honor the, this woman of God for her contribution over the years. If I am correct, I met her at the church when I first visited back in 1991 and was able to actually see and work directly with her. One memory that I can pull out very surely was when after I got saved, I became very involved in the choir and the drama team as well with people like Dion Jacob and more so Alicia Forbes, who would have taken lead in the choir. And there was one year when the National Open Bible Churches decided to have concert of choirs at the Palisico Church. And on that particular night, uh, our small choir became one of the lead choirs across the whole of, whole of Open Bible. And when we were finished singing and we came back down to the office to change, Sister Judith Alexander was in tears, crying and just hugging every choir member for the success that we were able and the glory that we were able to bring to Palasico because she knew firsthand of how many evenings, something four nights, five nights, and just practicing with Alicia Forbes. While on the church board for that 13 year period, one of the persons that came to become part of the church board was Sister Judith. And um, we were able to have a lot of meetings and discussions, quite a lot on the church board as well. Now back then, I don't know if it's still done because I know the senior pastor hasn't changed, but you know, back then Reverend Kerry Smart will start a board meeting on a Saturday morning around 9, 10 o'clock and two o'clock on Sunday morning, uh, we now going home. And um, sometimes back then I didn't have my vehicles and so on as yet. And I lived uh, way down in the bush inside of Rancho Quemado, the very last house, which was about a quarter mile away from the neighbor that was closest to it. And sometimes early mornings, uh, Judith will take the time uh, to drive and drop me all the way there and then drive back out. So Sister Judith was really also a woman of great faith and grace. Of course, life back then in the countryside was not as aggressive and dangerous as it is now in the year 2024. The third thing that I can remember with regards to the activity of uh, Sister Judith will be on church camps. Palasico was known for camping all over the place, rather it be at the Princess Town Comprehensive School, all the way down to Cedrus Composite School. Uh, camps was a common thing that was there of which Sister Judith was deeply involved. Many times she will also be sharing if they're working in the kitchen and then of course with her two sons they were always very active in quite a number of things too as well and Sister Judith was there to work with us, be a counsellor when you had abnormal cases and so on like that. Sister Judith was also very very visible. Fortly I remember Sister Judith visiting also the youth department I was also involved in a youth group with people like Nigel Singh, Dexter McGregor, uh, Lena Bali back then who is now Jain Mongol and many other of the youths that were there, uh, Peter and Valerie Francis, many other persons, of course Bowen Clark, how can we forget Bowen Clark and his role that he functioned in the youth group back then. And while uh, Sister Judith was not part of the youth leadership, she was also a regular guest and will also come in at times to be able to share quite a lot in terms of what's going on. Lastly, I remember visiting the home 
of uh, Sister Judith at times uh, because she was also quite active in church and, and provided that type of motherly role as other women in the church did like Sister Yvette Joseph, uh, Denise Fleming, Sister Nottingham uh, these were women that take a motherly role in terms of being able to counsel and coach us. I can't, I can't forget also uh, uh, the late uh, Cynthia Alexander as well um, in terms of their role. So Sister Judith Home was also one of the places that you know ever so often you want to go and just pour out your heart, you want to just share your vision, the Lord showed you something, you want to have a, just, uh, just someone to talk with. Sister Judith provided that opportunity. So on this great occasion of the church celebrating the life and I'm glad that uh, the leadership of Open Bible Palisico decided to honor her while she's alive and don't wait for after funeral or after when we have some sort of memorial service that we speak these great words to her. Um, in my final analysis of congratulating the work that was done in Sister Judith's life, I want to say that many, many of us who passed through your hands would have gone to the rest of the world and be able to make great impacts great impacts in all that is actually happening so i want to thank you for your contribution you have made quite a lot in terms of our lives and i even want to also uh, indicate that there were quite a number of individuals who have come out of palacico that continue to make strides around the world and these can be people like of course you know i highlighted denise uh, forbes uh, kizzy sedeno uh, sister petal even my brother with Samuel Shadrach, he actually is the local rep here in Trinidad for a uh, school out of the UK. And um, I'm also one of the licensed open Bible ministers that came out of Palisico that continue to cover not only across Trinidad, but even international too as well. Not just in physical seminars, but even online seminars as well. So all of this what started in Palisico continue to grow and continue to blossom in and around the world simply because of the simple contributions that were made by you, Sister Judith. So I take this opportunity to thank you and to congratulate you as you reflect on your life and the contribution you have made thus far. Blessings to you. Thank you.